Good afternoon, this is Headline News on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. The Ministry of Local Government is walking the talk as it has started a training program to prepare local government employees for changes which are coming under local government reform. Line Minister Hazel Manning says it's part of her ministry's commitment to ensure that workers are better prepared for new opportunities. This customized certificate in local government studies designed for local government staff will certainly provide them with an advantage, the staff who are here now, with an advantage to be the best qualified and also for promotion. Investigations continue this afternoon into the brutal murder of four members of the Roberts family in Belmont. Reports are that armed gunmen stormed the home in the early hours of this morning and started shooting. Dead are 13-year-old Shaquille Roberts, 62-year-old Carmen McCutchinson, 23-year-old Asha Roberts, and 18-year-old Jason Roberts. Also shot were 4-year-old Zara Sylvester and 23-year-old J. Hale Roberts. They are warded in critical condition at the Port of Spain General Hospital. The mother of the murdered children, Anelia Ann Roberts, said the attack upon her family was unjust. She is calling for justice. I'm willing for justice. I know go justice is slow, but I know it is sure. And if I didn't get it from the police, I hope I get it from God. Because they killed my sister five years ago, and we have never got any justice. I hope I get it from my children and my mother-in-law. God alone know the pain I am feeling here, you know. Prime Minister Patrick Manning is in Mexico today where he is attending a series of meetings with some CARICOM heads and the President of Mexico. Mr. Manning was invited to attend the three summits by Mexican President Felipe Calderon. The Government of Mexico is expected to engage its CARICOM partners in discussions on a variety of issues during the first summit. One of the highlights of the conference will be an address by Haitian President René Preval on common regional challenges. U.S. President Barack Obama has unveiled new plans to advance legislation to overhaul the U.S. health care system. One of the key proposals gives the U.S. government new power to block health insurers from imposing excessive premium increases. And in sport, Trinidad and Tobago's cricketers completed an outright victory over the Windward Islands at the Queen's Park Oval this morning in their WICB regional four-day matchup. Stay with us for full details of these stories and more coming up later this evening on the CNC3 News starting at 7.